In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this motion graphics reel in DaVinci Resolve. Let's create a new timeline. And for this, I'm going to use the format vertical resolution. And let's go ahead, drag in our fusion composition. Now, right click over here and change the clip duration to 2 and 20 over here, like this. Now, right click on your fusion composition and open in fusion page. Over here, I'm just going to drag in a background and let's connect the background to the media out. Now let's drag in our image. So I have this image and let me just connect this. And before I connect this, make sure you select your background and add this multi-merge node. So we're not going to be using this merge. We're going to be using the multi-merge now. So let's connect this media in. And over here, while you have this image selected, make sure you also check in or click on this color corrector and also click on this transform node. So make sure all of these are connected in this sequence. Now let's go over to transform and let's change the size to 2.3. So make sure your image fits in the screen. And let's go over to color corrector. And from this, I'm just going to change this to red. And let's also change the gain to 0 0.5 and the lift to minus 0 0.4. So like this. All right, now let's go ahead and add this fast noise. And let's also press control space and search for blur. Go ahead, add this blur node with the fast noise. And now let's connect this with the multi-merge. Now go over to fast noise and change the detail to 10. Change the contrast to 1.75 and change the brightness to minus 0 0.4. Change the scale to one and Finally, change the seed rate to 0 0.01. And go over to blur and change the blur size all the way to 100. Now, one thing, go back to the fast noise and go over to the color. And from here, change the color to all the way to red, like this. Now, let's drag in a text. And I'm going to write this text over here. And I'm going to use the font Futura Bold. Change the size to... 0.2 and let's also go ahead connect this with the multi-merge like this and let's also go over to transform and sorry go over to layout and change the y to 0.6 now i'm going to change the color to this color code so while you have your text selected press control space and search for glow and change the glow size to Keep the glow size at 10, but change the glow to 0 0.9, like this. All right, now let's go ahead and add in our image. So I have this image, and let me just connect this with the multi-merge. But before I do that, let's drag in this background. So whenever you are using an image like an outline, and let me just show you, this is the image that we have. So whenever you're using this sort of an image, which is, which is a silhouette, you can always use the background to change the color. So let me just go ahead, change the color to red. And let's also add this transform node and connect this with the merge, multi merge. Now, over here, I'm just going to keep this at black for now. But let's go over to transform and change the angle to 180, like this. And this is because I have this image like this. But of course, you can use any image like this. All right, now let's add in a transform node over here and create a keyframe at zero at size. And let's go over to 35 frames and change this size to 1.1 like this. And let me move this out. All right, now let's go over to the text over here and let's go over to shading. And from here, make sure you are at 35 frames, create a keyframe at opacity and go over to 36 frames and change this to zero. Now let's go over to the background color and over here at 35, let's create a keyframe right here. And then at 36, let's change this to white. And let's go over to transform. And over here at 36, I'm going to create a keyframe at size. And then all the way to the end, I'm going to change the size to 0.7. Now go over to multi merge and right here at 35. Let's create a keyframe first of all. Let's go over to the media in layer one, which is the text, which is the image that we have, which is in the background. And create a keyframe at blend. And then at 36, let's 
also move this to zero and let's do the same thing for this blur that we have over here so create a keyframe at 35 and then at 36 let's change this to zero all right now i'm going to add another multi-merge and i can go ahead and use the same multi-merge but since we're going to do a transition in our animation i'm just going to create another one so make sure that this is connected and now let's drag in a background and also this rectangle mask connect them and go over to the background and change this to white then go over to rectangle and go ahead unselect the solid and change the border width to 0 0.01 and now let's go over to 34 frames and i'm going to create a keyframe at level change this to zero then at 35 i'm going to change this to one now let's go over at 35 and i'm going to create a keyframe at width at one and then at height at one make sure you press this keyframe button so that it creates the keyframe and then at 35 let's change the width to 0 0.9 and the height to 0 0.9 as well and now let's go over to 36 and change the width to 0 0.8 and the height to 0 0.8 8.5 like this so this is the animation that will take place like this now let's go ahead and drag in this image once more actually twice more so let's drag this image two times again and this is just because i have this image and i want two more of them but it depends on your image so you can just leave this as it is right now i just have this image and let me drag in this background for both of these make sure you connect the media with the background like this and let's go ahead drag in this transform node for both of these like this and let's connect them so in the background i'm going to change the color to white and let's go over to transform first of all i'm just going to change the angle to 180 for both of these and let's change the size to 1.5 for this one and 1.5 for this one as well and now let's change the position for this so for this one i'm going to drag this right here and this one let's move this right here but i'm going to change the flip to a horizontal like this all right now let's go over to background and create a keyframe at 40 in this color and do the same thing for these two as well these two backgrounds as well now let's go over to 55 frames and let's change the color to red for all of these backgrounds and we're going to do the same thing for this one as well so you can go over to this background create a keyframe at 40 then add 55 let's change this to red so something like this and if you play this this is how it looks and go over to multi merge and over here as you can see this is where our animation comes in so you can create a keyframe at 36 for both of these transform nodes at blend so make sure you do that and then at 35 frames let's change the blend to zero for both of these something like this so go over to multi merge 2 and make sure you select your transform 5 create a keyframe add size and do the same thing for transform 4 now go all the way to the end and change this to 0 0.7 and this one to 0 0.7 as well so let's change this to 0 0.7 like this and if you play this this is how it will look and we're going to do the same thing for this rectangle as well so let's go over to this background and you can see we can change the size from here as well so create a keyframe at size for this background and change this to 0 0.7 like this all right now let's move this transform right here and i'm going to add in a glow so make sure you select your multi-merge tool press Control space and search for glow make sure this is connected let's change the glow size to 100 and the glow to 0 0.7 so now while you have this glow selected just click on this brightness right here and let's right click on the lift 
go to modify width and then select shake go over to the modifiers tab change the smoothness to 5 keep the minimum at 0 and the maximum at 0 0.2 and finally we're going to also add in a gaussian blur so select your brightness contrast press control space and search for blur but go ahead and select this gaussian blur so let's create a keyframe at 50 right here and change this strength to 0 then go all the way to 65 and change this to 0 0.4 so here we have our animation done and let's see how this looks perfect so this is it for this video i hope you found this video useful and i will see you in the next one